What's up, guys? It's Billy Break and Jackie here. We're here uh, talking about Duel Links. A lot of you guys know it's from the TCG. We used to play. Not anymore. I quit and retired that to come <laughs> play Duel Links now. It's an awesome game. We have you just play on your phone. They have tournaments and everything. Uh, I enjoy it a lot. But we stream it also during the week usually at Twitch.tv, House of Champions. You know, you know the same old thing. Uh, brand new set just came out. Blaze of Spirits. It came out while we were filming this video. Very excited about it. Mini box, only 80 packs, two ultra rares, but has all the old six samurais, some harpy cards. Um, I, I like the harpy cards a whole lot. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to say. Yeah, you're excited about the harpy cards. It has a, another Fire King card, but they're releasing you know more and more of the cards into the game. But, you know, John's a big six samurai. It's actually the six samurais that John used in his Shonen Jump when he won uh, 2008, 6, 7, 8, 2007, 8, March of 2008. When Possibly, I don't know. I was gonna... Let's just put it that way. When six Sam's, well, he made them good. Yeah, they out. weren't good when he like won with them. Like no one respected it whatsoever. But then it actually became a deck. Like at Costa Mesa during Dark Round Return format, like there was de you know OTK FTK decks, and then there was six Samurais. because this guy actually stopped a lot of the FTKs. The Great Shogun Shi in the first Ultra Rare. So let's get into talking about it. The new set, Great Shogun Shi in. It says if you control two or more face of six Samurai monsters, you can spell some of this card from your hand. Your opponent can only activate one spell or trap each turn. If this card would be destroyed, you can destroy a face of six Samurai monster you control instead. The first and second part effects are actually insane, right? Right. Being this able to protect himself. I think this is what everyone is real excited for, although I would only want this as a one of. I don't think it would go into the six Samurai decks, per se. Why, because there's only three monster card zones? Or you think it's that. a slow, but, he's but a But more card? so, I think it would go in decks that would kind of go around it, like mausoleum decks, three-star demotion mm. decks with the ninja cards and pretty much anything to lock your opponent out for the games, I think. Maybe, like, regular So, like, a scene control deck. Yeah. Like, the way, instead of playing two barrel dragon. One, though, but the rest of them would, yeah. Yeah, like I like that. Beaters. I think it's a really good card. The fact that, like, you can protect himself with the other six samurais <laughs> makes them really hard to get rid of. And you can use, like, the ties that bind, uh, the tie that binds, like, to make them bigger. Or beat down, and he gets 28 immediately. Right. Uh, so there's a lot of cool things I think you can do with them, but very good card. But I don't know how much plays you can see. The other ultra rare is Elementon Hero Neos Alias. Not really much of an effect, aside from when you Gemini summon it, his name becomes Elemental Hero Neos. She can fusion uh, with it and stuff, so that's kind of good. But it won't happen that it much. It won't ever happen again. Basically, what this does is it's the support for the O Oversoul that you have two of, mm. and other than that, it doesn't really have much well, use I mean, aside from In order to charge, all the same anti-meta decks. You can use it in, like, the Venus deck, you know, where you summon the Yeah, where they, but you don't really want to give them your alias, would you? Mm -hmm. Would you give up your alias? It would just be another normal soul? monster use. He's just a beatdown one. I don't think it's very good. But it's, it, it might be, be used in the Joey of Warrior field yeah, decks. Yeah, because he's a so normal big, monster yeah. and he's big, yeah. So he's a super solid anti-meta card, just like CG. That. Super Conducto Tyranno is not the next card, but yeah, it, is. it is the next card. I, I lied. <laughs> Super Conducto Tyranno. Uh, is this monster training true on the monster? Inflict a thousand damage to your opponent. This card cannot declare an attack with any active effect. It's a dinosaur. It's really good with some of the dinosaur cards. It lets you summon them out of your hand without tributing and stuff, right? And like Fossil Excavation, I think. Uh, I think that summons back trap. a guy from the grave, yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can use that on that, too. Yeah, other than that, uh, I it's don't really good. see it outside of the Rex Raptor dual skill where you pierce and try to cheese them for game. Mm -hmm. Like, definitely a big dinosaur. Yeah, tribute there, a monster so. and pierce for game. I think that's going to be what they're going to try to do. But Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, I think the card's really good and going to be really good for dinosaurs if they just have easy ways to summon them. No. No, there you go. Anishi, Sheen's Chancellor. This card's really good, I think, for six samurais. Cannot be normal summoner set. Must be set summon from your hand by banishing two six samurai monsters from your graveyard. Can't be set summon any other ways. Monster turn, you can target one face of monster, destroy that target. This card cannot declare an attack. The turn, you actually, this is a fan. I know you uh, had a whole lot to say about it when mm -hmm. we talked oh, yeah. about it well, on And that's the Shonen Jump that John won. <laughs> I lost as he played this card because I had a set Kinetic Soldier and he just had to attack. If he attacked into it and then my turn, I flipped to turn my Kinetic Soldier attack mode and attacked his Chancellor, his game. No damage or game, so I set Kinetic Soldier. And he drew Swords Revealing Lifer's turn, flipping face up and destroying with an easy. But it's a super solid card in Duel Links to be able to pop a face of monster. Just special when a guy from your hand is just really good. In general, uh, I think this card's really good in like six samurai decks. I'm gonna play a little the small six samurais and then maybe like one or two of this guy. I do agree, I do yeah. think so too. No, nothing else to say. This is what you're most excited for, yeah, I yeah. feel like, in this set. Yeah, the immortal Bushi, super good card. Uh, when this card, when this 
When this face up <laughs> card on the field, it, while this card is face on the field, it cannot be tributed except for the tribute summon of a warrior type monster. During your standby phase, if this card is in your graveyard and all the monsters in your graveyard are warrior type monsters, you can spell summon this card. You must also control no monsters to activate and resolve this effect. So, yeah, it's kind of like a Treeborn Frog, but instead of having no spell and traps, you have to have all warriors. Super good. You can't. The thing you can't, you can't bring it back, like Econ, take their monster and bring it back again yeah. like you could Treeborn Frog. But, uh,. You can still just bring it back and like play a bunch of just anti meta cards that keep like one for one in it, like trading with their cards, and then you always have Bushi coming back. It's like the classic. <laughs> I've always wanted this card to be good, but I think it can actually be really good in Duel Links. Yeah, the only dif- the only downside would be if you are playing this because I know you wanted to play it like with your Flame Tiger deck you had going. Yeah, on. instead of Flame Tiger, you yeah, use this guy. You, you can't really like if, if the Joey dual skill was there. I don't know if you can be able to bring it back, right? Hmm. No, as long as you have all warriors. As long as you have all warriors, you can. No, yeah. I lied. Oh, mm-hmm. so you're good still. Mm, yep, yep, he's super good. All right, next card. Now, I'll let you talk about this one. Oh, Diki Curse. Okay, <laughs> uh, special summon this card as an effect monster. Oh, I can read it if you want. Oh, yeah, you. What? I'll just cut this part down. Okay. <laughs> this is when this card is an effect monster. Rock type dark level four. Attack 1800, defense 1000. This card is also a trap card. While this card is on effect. Monster, if another trap card that is a monster <laughs> battles an opponent's monster, after damage <laughs> calculation, destroy that opponent's monster. Oh, the reason why this is so good to be out right now is because we just got Tiki Soul, which combos with it as well as your embodiment of Apothis. And I know that some people. So we have, have all, fun and just we have all three stuff, like yeah. it'll be able to destroy the monster reset itself mm-hmm. i don't know i don't think the trap art monsters are really that good but maybe they are in this game and i'm not really yeah. i think chance. people like it because it gives them something to play around horus and silent magician love late and there's nothing really to stop traps from mm-hmm. happening right now and that's Except the new gishki the water monster we will get to that it's not in the, the tower uh, monster yeah it's in the yeah. tower moving on Fire Formation Gyoku. One of the good Fire Formations, but I don't think it's going to be that good yet, but it is a form of, like, spell and trap removal, which is really cool. But activate this card by targeting one set spell the trap card your opponent controls. Your opponent cannot activate the targeted card in response to this card's activation. While this card is... This face upon the field, that set card cannot be activated. All Beast Warrior type monsters go control gain 100 attack. Yeah, I think it's really good. It's like, yeah, it's a night beam. Do you think it'll be good in Duel Links where it can cut off a lot of your spots and you won't yeah. be able to set anything? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you're playing Firefish, you can always tribute them later on, but, but I mean, still, like, just having one just freeze one backer, if one just has one backer and it's frozen, they can't chain, like, it could be devastating. It could be the way to beat ninjas sometimes, like, if they only have that one trap true, card, you just hope it's true. frozen, now you're gonna lose. But it's a solid card. I don't know how much play he's gonna see yet, but I, I definitely think it's pretty good. Above average. Above average. Another above average Harpy's card. Harpy's Dancer. Uh, you can target one mm-hmm. when... Monster you control, return it to your hand, then normal summon one one monster. You can only use this effect of Harpy Dancer once per turn. This name becomes Harpy Lady while it's in the field or in the graveyard. So, with Mai's nerf, this isn't the craziest deck that mm-hmm. you can make, but it's still pretty freaking strong, because Harpy Dancer is still Harpy Dancer, and we still have Elegant Egotisk in the game. Even with the, the skill nerf of your Harpy's Hunting Ground being mm-hmm. on the top of your deck, I still think it's pretty good even though you're gonna be rising for the turn you're still gonna blow up your opponent's back row yeah. ancient viewer is really popular ninjas is really popular so you can see like maybe a decline and that going in the ladder seeing that you know harpies might be yeah i definitely think harpies are good popping them. yeah, yeah harpy dancers really, harpy dancer with elegant egotist and being able to bounce and pop 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 like it's really really good i think harpies are gonna be pretty decent is there another wind monster Backs right now that's like real important or no? Mm, not I don't yet. Know. Not that we know of. Oh, no, well. that I can think of. Next one. Powerful Rebirth. This is probably the best card in the set. It's like Call of Haunted, but for lower monsters. But activate this card by targeting one level four lower monster in your graveyard. Stress on that target. Increases level by one. Attack and defense by one hundred. When the monster destroyed, destroy this card. So like it says in the tips and stuff, it's not connected to that monster. So you will be to use like the new parallel twister with it, which is really good. This is really good in six samurais because you know you have your samurai like a zanji, they somehow get rid of it. Then on your turn, you bring back your zanji. You summon your yaichi. You pop their back row. You special summon your shin. Tack tack tack. You know it's all over from there. <laughs> I think it's pretty good. I think powerful birth is really good just because it is so good with parallel twister. Uh, it's just it's a cool card whether it's like meta breaking or not. 
What do you that, think? That's, that's about that, it. That's the everything that needed to be said. I'm pretty sure parallel twister might be the next card. Yeah, yeah. So, so parallel twister. This is the card he was talking about. Send one other spell and trap card you control to the graveyard. Then target one card on the field. Destroy it. It's any card. This is also pretty good with any of the decks that start with a field spell. Yeah, really like Bastion, good. Bastion, yeah. Joey, any of those guys could be. Yeah, because you can good. automatically just destroy a card on the field. I think yeah, the parallel twister is pretty solid. Pretty solid spot removal, especially yeah, with the, the, the trap card. With the, yeah, it's a very good card. Yeah. Very good card. In certain decks. Even like the Ancient Gear Castle, if you don't really want it, you can get rid of it too. Yeah. But that's yeah. like what's Ooh, you can play the Ancient Gear yeah. Cyber Angels and then be like, haha, instead of playing the Ancient Gear Golem, <laughs> you just play Parallel Twister instead. Cyber Harpy Lady. Other than its effect is it's just it's one. Harpy Lady. It's the biggest Harpy Lady they've released so far, mm. so it can attack over things. Very good. Harpy support. Yep. These, these are all the rares we're getting into now. Horrible. Blindly loyal golem. Can't be econ. Not that great. We'll pass. Yeah, just I'll pass. Econ. He's a warrior, I guess. El Elemental hero. hero, Dark Neos. Now, all, all aside Neos. from all of the text, all you get, need to know is that it gets contact fusion. It goes back at the end phase. Yeah, and then at the end phase, they just die. So you trade two monsters for... This guy, and he has Dark Panther's effect where he just copies an effect of an effect monster on the field, I'm pretty sure. So, but it's good in Neo Space because they don't go back. I don't know. I, I'd have to test the Neo stuff a lot more, but I've never played with any of it, like, in the TCG either. So, I don't really know how it's going to be in Duel Links at all. I think it's the same thing where That's you can't keep him on the field. If they have Convert Contract, back. that card's good. Discard Neo Space <laughs> and draw two cards. Oh, Neo Space and Dark Panther. Copies an effect on the field. So... <laughs> <laughs> super solid it could be good I don't know what other card we could really use it against like right now copy the Kini and phase add back to your hand I don't know something like that copy no, red eye zombie attack over your defensive samurai skull <laughs> uh, so there's only one thing I really have to say about this card and it's this normally gentle dinosaur enjoys relaxing in its nest in the prairies if it becomes angered it turns in terribly ferocious that's all, that I really, that's all I gotta say about that <laughs> The other thing to say about it is he gets pretty big. He's a big dinosaur. He's he's a pretty. Cobb's big... already in there. He needed his dumb friend to come hang out. With you, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Keep putting these terrible cards in duelings. God, I hate the dinosaurs. I hate rabbit. So... Dude, what if they put rescue rabbit in here? Oh god, just to do it. Not with that like exceeds monsters. Just rescue rabbit dinosaurs. It'd still be pretty strong considering one rescue rabbit is game under Rex Raptor. Yeah. <laughs> All right, six samurai Sanji. This one's broken. He's really good. Because it not only is 18 under attack, but at the end of the damage step, this card attack, destroy the monster, this card attack. So it has to still be alive in order to destroy at the end of the damage step. And you must control another 6 samurai with a different name and resolve this effect. If this card will be destroyed, you can destroy another 6 samurai instead. So if you have 3 6 samurai, you can crack, destroy another guy to save it, destroy their monster. Actually, I don't even know if he has to live to destroy the monster if he attacks. He might just be able to destroy no, anything. You just have to control another one. Yeah, so I mean, he might even have to live. So yeah, he's going to just destroy the monster. He's very good. He can remove any monster. He's huge. Uh, also, yeah, this is the the protecting effect. Like, yeah, best six samurai in the set, probably. Him and Yaichi. <sighs> what? Well, here's the Yaichi. What does Yaichi do? Well, he, all he does is target a set spell and drop card. And the opposite of Kaman, who's also in this set. And, uh... That's about it. Destroy spell or trap cards. Also has the protection effects. So yeah, they all do something when they we control another six samurai. Right? Actually, pops the spell and traps. I like this one. Billy thinks I'm crazy. I've always thought this. Yuri was boozy. It's still boozy. This yeah. one says at the start of the damage step, if this card attacked a face down defense mission monster, destroy that monster. The reason that I think it's pretty good is because floodgate trap pull is heavily played in this game, and other than that, yeah, it doesn't really do anything. But the mm. odds of opening Iru and a floodgate trap pull in a twenty card deck. Is pretty high, so you have a good chance to just start clearing stuff. Yeah. Because the one issue I Or you see... could just draw Iru. And he's just like... Nah, he's his strongest <laughs> He's still I'm... a name. He's also still a name for Zombie. Yeah, and, and Ishii. Yeah, he's and also just and... still named... No, yeah, he's, still, he's not terrible. I just think Yaichi and Zanji are just, like, leagues better than that guy. Alright, next one. Shien's Foot Soldier. When he dies, he gets a weak... Six Samurai, not even a good well, Yaichi's Six Samurai. Yaichi's not weak. Yaichi and Kaman, they're no <laughs> jokes. But yeah, he could be good, like, but he's slow, so that's kind of a problem. Not so good. Sheehan's Castle of Mist. Also not so good. Also not so good. It's mainly just filler. To yeah, I mean, it's just Six Samurai feels better. This is kinda... the clickbait of uh, mm. cards, I feel like. This is the clickbait one. 
Yeah. Hand of the Six Samurai. This is another level three Six Samurai set that the guy can summon. Very good. This one's very good. Oh, uh, yeah. You know what? That, mm-hmm. that actually might be kind of okay, but not okay. Because you, most of the time, your monsters are just getting sent to the graveyard by the king mm. most of the time. Yeah, but then you have the, the trap card bringing the, the powerful rebirth. But yeah, Hand of the Six Samurai powerful <laughs> rebirth is like actually insane. Because, like, yeah, you have your guy die. Let's see if your guy actually dies or one. You pop over with the guy she back. You summon hand. You actually affect. You pop the back row. Hand effect. Tribute to the guy she pop the monster. Boom, boom, boom. You know, then the next thing you know, their lives are zero. If you special summon a sheen in between there, zero. Notice zero. when he talks about combos, he just what? talks very fast. Are you following me? <laughs> I'm following you. That's, in my head, they're going through it. We're just popping everything they have. Like, front row, back row. They're leaving the cards in their hand, but they can only act with one spell or trap return. Six Samurai Control. <laughs> Ooh. Fire King, King yeah. Avatar Barong. Yeah, you know the old saying, yeah. it's not Barong, I don't want to be Barite. Right, Robbie? <laughs> I know you don't believe me that was your saying, but that was definitely your saying, Robbie. So, but, but if a face of Fire King monster you control will be destroyed by battle, except during the damage step, of course, because that's no good, you can special a, summon this card from your hand. Nice. So he combos with the Yasha when Yasha right. pops. Yeah. During the next standby phase, after this card is destroyed by a card effect and sent to the graveyard, add one Fire King card from your deck to your hand, except Fire King Avatar Barong. Yeah, we're missing all the good Fire King cards, like Garunix, Circle of the Fire Kings, and Onslaught of the Fire Kings, that this card normally searches all three of those. But it can still search Yasha right now, yeah, or it, Kieran. It's the only way... To- if you don't want to play Planet Pathfinder and you have this and Yaksha in your hand, you also Fire King Island. You can kind of get things going that way. Yeah, and there's another like Fire King 1800 attack. Like you can search as a Beast Warrior, so it works with the, 1900 Gyoku. Yeah, it works with those cards. It's a very good card. It's a very good Fire King card, but once we get like Circle and like Onslaught, and then it might be like game over, man. <laughs> game over. <laughs> this, I know you are really, really into the. Dude, yeah, I think the Hazy Flames. Are now that we got like all more of them, uh, they're really good at the last one. You just summon three guys really fast. But yeah, Hazy Flame, Perryton. Can't be special summoned except by Hazy Flame effect. Your opponent cannot target this card. The card effects, they all have that. You can send one fire monster from your hand to the graveyard. Tribute this card. Show some two Hazy Flame monsters from your deck. And you can play Pyrex. It's just fire everywhere. Everything's on fire. <laughs> That's what I think in my head when I'm like playing duels. But, okay, the card's really good. It's obviously the rest you have for Hazy Flames. Mm, there's a lot more Hazy Flames in here, too. There's this, a lot more Hazy Flames report. This card's, like, pretty good. Uh, it works with... I, I just thought about it. You can use it with, like, Forbidden Chalice and, like, still attack... You can, like, attack a monster. I don't know. No, nah, maybe it's not that good with Chalice. But, yeah, it can't do any damage, but it can attack two monsters, and it gains, like, half the warrior's attack that's used with fusion as long as it's not Elemental Hero Neos. So, you can clear boards, and it's a good fusion. It's, it's a solid one for the, the Neo's deck. Yeah, it could be in, like, a little city deck. And yeah. And that's about all With I the know. Oversoul, Oversoul deck? Yeah, and my BB Warrior. <laughs> Six Samurai. Yuriza? I, mean, I don't even know how to say his name. Yuri, I don't know. No one really used to use this one, but I think he's actually, like, kind of viable in Duel Links. Considering he is one fourth of their life points and he can get bigger, yeah, just attack directly, directly. Just try to just cheese for a game. Maybe it's a solid like one of if you want to go to the cheeky route. Yeah, or you use like an equip card and make it attack for a game. Just the steed card. <laughs> uh, legend the Nisashi, six samurai and Nisashi. Twice. Yeah, just attacks twice, which is also kind of viable in yeah. dueling sometimes. You can buff them up, especially with Joey. Yeah, definitely. I mean, all those six samurai cards are way better in dueling than they were in the TCG. Come on, Pop's face of card is not bad. He's super solid. I know you're not a fan of Come on, but I think he's pretty good. He does the face of spell and trap cards. But yeah, we're just gonna kind of go through a lot of these comms that aren't very good. Pretty this quick. is just it's an equip card. This is also just the, the clickbait. I mm-hmm. feel like click, little clickbait, but not too much clickbait. It can this be one's good. I mean, it protects clickbait. the guy. It gives him 300 attack and protects the guy, which is pretty solid, yeah. like a Zanji or something. That's not as bad as like some of the other ones, but uh, not that good. Not that good. I mean, it could be good, but I, 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 drawing, it, it, it's just too slow. But it, yeah, you just set that, activate it, they don't deal with it, you draw. Special summon Cicero, normal summon, summon Sheehan. All the signs are pointing to play Sheehan, though, is what I'm saying. <laughs> Sheehan might be pretty good. I think people are sleeping on Sheehan. So here's Heroes Rule 2. Not really something that goes into a main deck. Maybe that's a little hint of something that's to come into the future. Maybe yeah. a side deck or something. Because there have been a lot of side deck ish type cards that have been coming out lately. Yeah. It would be cool so if we had knows? a side deck for this card, yeah. 
You're a mask. mask. It's like a foolish burial, sort of. <clears throat> well, it's like a prisma, right? Yeah. Or you can send it. No, it's like foolish burial for Elements of Heroes. It's really good with Elemental Shadow Mist, which we don't have yet, but it's a good card. I think it's a good <laughs> card. You can send down Necroshade. You can send down Elemental Hero Neos and bring it back as an Oversoul. <laughs> Legacy mm. of a hero. Return to fusion monsters from your extra deck that lists hero as a monster material. Draw three cards. Yeah, this card's cool. You can only activate one legacy of a hero per turn. However, I don't know how good this card would be considering... Diamond dude. Oh. You can draw three. Yeah, that's a, a, aside from Diamond dude. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. I don't, I don't know how you I'd would use it. it without Diamond dude. Dude, it's so sad. Isn't it like Flame Wingman just like in pieces? The picture? That's what it looks like. You know, what if there's going to be like a Diamond Dude it's Exodia Turbo deck? Yeah, there no. could be. I don't know about Exodia. I just not thought of that. Let's keep this moving. Grandpa's six six triple impact. If you control three or more face of six samurai monsters, activate with a peg. Destroy all face of monsters you're controls. Destroy all face of spell and trap cards. Destroy all set cards. So, uh, it's pretty good. It's usually it's not a card really good. that requires... Three other cards. It's just extra. Four, and if you have three monsters, combo. you're probably doing something right anyway. So you don't really need this card. Mm -hmm. So it's like an excess card. Unless you want to play like a copy night deck and just try, ha, triple impact. It's kind of a funny card. But Sheen Scheme also like requires you have a lot of six samurai cards. But not the worst, I guess. Like you can summon six samurai. So you can't summon Shogun Sheen. But yeah, it, it's not great. Not great. Requires Co the Copy cards. night. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> this just summons a token that's a zero zero, but it has the name. So like... Yeah, it makes it an easy way to, if you set that turn one, you can turn two, summon a six samurai, copy nine, and summon G, and that's their, like, little tip, but I don't know, man. I don't <laughs> think that card's very good. Three of a kind. This is also the card that I thought was relatively okay in the set. In the Harpies. Set. In the Harpies. If you control three or more monsters with the same name, except tokens, target three cards your opponent controls, destroy those targets. Mm -hmm. The only downside is you have to target three exact, yeah. and not up to three. That was the one really big sh shift in, you know, if I wanted to try it out. I'm still mm -hmm. trying it out, though, because I try everything out. Yeah. But with three elegant egotists, 20 card deck, harpy dancer in the game. It could be like the only trap you play. Yeah, maybe. it can be the only trap you could play, considering we don't have the, Icarus. Or that, and you could also play the, like, revival one, too. Mm. The powerful rebirth. Powerful rebirth. And I like the card art on it, just because I like the synchro, it's a synchro cat for cyber dragons, but it looks like the synchro cat's about to get destroyed by them. But I, I, I be, believe that it is the Synchro Cat player's turn. He's about to Synchro for an Arcanine Magician and pop, pop. Like, that's what I, I yeah, or Black Rose or something. But this is neither here nor there. But we can continue on with the cards. Hazy hey, Flame Cerberus. Cerberus. This Cerberus. guy actually has the normal summoning. Yeah, you can effect. normal summon him. He only have a thousand attack. Your opponent cannot target cards. Can't target this card with card effects. When this card is destroyed into the graveyard, you can add on Hazy card from your deck to your hand. Pretty good. Pretty Super good. solid Hazy Flame. Ah. Oh, we lost all our things. I'll fix it, babe. I'll cut this oh, part out, too. Okay. Hazy, hazy glory. glory. This card's really good. You can normal summon a Hazy Flame monster with what? One less tribute. One less tribute. You can send this face-up card from the field to the graveyard to target one hazy card in your graveyard except Hazy Glory. Add that target to your yeah. hand. So you can activate this card. Summon the Rescue Rabbit guy. Discard a card. Send the guy. Special with your two guys. Send Hazy Glory. Add back a uh, hazy guy to your hand. Boom, bada, boom. You got a uh, stew going. You, got a, you definitely have a stew going. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to go backwards real fast. Hazy Flame Serapis. Cerberus. Tobias. Yeah, I, UK. Alright, let's keep moving. Yeah, I'm gonna... Dude, but don't cut the stew out. Alright, Hazy Flame Manticore. Your opponent cannot tar target cards... This card with card effects. I know already. I know you cannot target the Hazy Flame. Stop telling me. <laughs> Once per turn, during the player's turn, you can send one fire monster. Accept this card from your hand to the graveyard. and face of shield... To the graveyard, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects. Mm, I don't think this one's very good at all. It's okay, I guess. I don't think it's good. I don't think you'll ever really need its effect. Uh, I think the other ones are just way better, and there's not a lot of room for it. You can three-star demotion this one. Yeah, I think I mean, you can use the Hazy Glory to summon any of them, with just normal summoning them, because they're all one tributes. Yeah, but this one you don't gotta set the trap. Well, yeah, you can also three-star <laughs> demotion all of them. Can you? Yeah, they're all six. Temple of the Mind's Eye. Oh, sorry. Any battle damage a player takes becomes a thousand. 
It's not bad. It's, you can play like a knob of the white rabbit deck, or, you know, or whatever. The tag directly guys have boom, boom, boom. I think it's the only thing this deck's really good for with like stumbling. No, not stumbling. I think stumbling it's game. more so the side deck type thing again, where. Maybe you know, side the Amazon, ninjas? No, the Amazonist deck. And ninjas too, I guess. So why yeah, don't they just. Yeah, they get rid of it, it with know. the. What's it called? It's not a very good card. We're just trying to give a reason for why you might play it. But it's okay. I mean, it could have a reason one day, but only in like lame decks. And that should be the end of the set. Nope, and that's actually. it. Well, that's the set that just came out. Went through and like. They're already, already TCG cards. Some of them newer TCG cards. Some of them really, really old TCG cards like the Samurai stuff. But I'm excited to like open the packs and see what I get. Uh, anything else? We're, we're going to be streaming uh, usually yeah, during the week, sometime at night from like 6 to 10-ish. It's usually around 7. 7, yeah, 7 to 10-ish. But we yeah, stream Duel Links. Come hang out. Come see what's going on. And that's about it. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.